Previously on, Zakia loves Pinto. That was a good workout. Wow, I did it. I seriously love getting oranges from them, and now they don't have any. Got stuff popping up in my head, like nachos, fries. <laughs> Baby acid reflux is acting up right now. Typical night, a couple times a week. Acid reflux is a digestive disease. I don't really like that word, but it's a digestive disease that can sometimes be chronic where stomach acid flows back up into your esophagus. And what causes that is this little thing that's down here at the end of your esophagus and it's a like valve and that valve is loose so in me that valve is loose and it causes whenever I have stomach acid for those things to come back up I just feel like <sighs> like it's just so much and my throat feel like it's closing yeah mm -hmm. You want me to get you some out of there? Mm. Just... Alright, just breathe. Okay. I had this traumatic experience that happened to me about four and a half years ago. Uh, I had this little gummy. <laughs> it was like five milligrams. This little tiny gummy that I was kind of pressured to have, but I decided to take it. And uh, I immediately got in the shower right after that. And the heat caused that gummy to, I guess, go straight to my bloodstream. And I immediately started to panic. And um, make a long story short, I went to the hospital. And from that day, gradually, I remember like the acid reflux starting. I didn't really know what it was when it started. I was like this weird feeling. But eventually, probably around January, it was full on, okay? And for about a year, it was like hell. If hell is real, that was hell that I was in. I felt like it was something sitting on my chest. My heart was racing all the time. I couldn't sleep. I would be up all night. It was crazy. And I don't know how I even made it through because even thinking about it can bring me to tears because it was so scary. It was so scary. I ended up getting an endoscopy done and then that's when they found out that I had low acid in my stomach, but I wouldn't wish this on anybody. It is one of the scariest experiences that I have ever been through and to still be living with it. Now it has obvious, it's not as intense as it was before, but to still be living with it, it's like, why me? hate this. It has to be rewired. Yeah. So that I can like stop thinking about this. Wait, I don't want to cry. I messed up my makeup. No, you won't. I need a better one of you to win. subject is a little tough for me to talk about that's I had to take a little break my eyes is red so just bear with me we're gonna try to get it through it together so um when my heart is racing it just is really scary I mean like you don't know why your heart is pumping so fast it literally I can see it moving outside of my chest when it gets like really really there and sometimes it'll just come just out of the blue like it will I'll be sleeping and then I'll wake up and my heart is racing and so it's just at that point it feels like you're kind of out of control because I can't control it 
well, I guess I can control it, <laughs> but it feels like you can't control it, right? You have to be able to calm yourself down and know that you're gonna be okay. And in that moment, it just feels like nothing is gonna be okay. It feels like this is about to be the end. Okay. When I'm going through a flare up, it affects my mental a little bit as well. So it's not just, it's in my body. Yes, it's the feeling in my body where my throat is getting tight. I'm drinking water consistently to try to feel like my throat is open and my heart is racing. And this new place is like, it really be feeling like I'm about to die. I've gotten to a point where I, I've feared death before, but I'd be scared that I'm not gonna make it till the next day. So you could feel like, uh in that moment that you're gonna die and then you just start thinking all these different things right it, it just brings the anxiety that you're having during that moment it brings it to another level it's so intense that you can't calm down when i feel when that when that feeling takes over it's uncontrollable that's really all i can say about it it is intense and uncontrollable and it It just feels crazy. All right, babe, come on. I can, I can hear you, Pam. Look at me. It's okay. Breathe. I don't know what I would do without my baby. She, especially during this like new era of my acid reflux, right? Or not my, I hate calling it my, of the acid reflux. Uh, she has been so helpful. She has a way of calming me down when it gets really intense. She has a special, she just is a special person. She just has a special, unique way of like looking me in my eyes and saying, you're gonna be okay. It's okay, you have complete control of this. Okay, don't panic, you're gonna be okay. And I know and I feel that she's there and she's gonna protect me. And she's gonna make sure that I'm okay. Like, it's just a piece that she gives me and I am so grateful for her. I'm so grateful that she is even willing to, you know, love me through this experience. You don't think you'll ever feel like it was a burden? Oh, no, they are so not that's the so same. We are not the same. Oh, you thought I was feeling you? Um, and I'm saying I'm a lot. Let me change it, wait. Okay, think, bitch, and I'll say, um, flows back up. Man, I know your thing was long. Mm. 